What is up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. I haven't done an unboxing video for a while, and today I have the chance to unbox the brand new Roost by Human Eyes. It's a Roost Plus. That is a 4K stereoscopic 360 camera. It's actually very exciting, very easy to use, and I think it's an upgrade for the GoPro Fusion and then it's a step above to up your 360 game to go into the stereoscopic territory. So, without further ado, let's unbox this bad boy. Here, the same packaging compared to, again, this one, right? So this has the same box, but let's put it aside first. Let's look at what's actually in the box. So in the box, have this thing. So I guess this is the handle for the camera. So let's see the old camera. You can put this thing in the bottom here and just hold the camera like that. So I guess it's the same system yeah, for, the old, uh, for the old camera. So that is the stand. And then another thing we have is the battery charger right here and then an international converter right here great and then come with the package we have this little VR goggle which is pretty cool so you can actually see stereo something immediately so why this is so important remember this camera captures stereoscopic camera and stereo stereoscopic video and stereoscopic video you will not be able to see it until you put on a VR goggle, slap on your phone, and hit that button on YouTube to turn image into stereoscopic. So you will actually see stereoscopic. If not, you will just see wallpaper to see video. So it's good to include the VR goggle as well. And then next thing we have right here is the USB, the USB charger right here. To charge your camera and connect it to the computer, pretty sure. And then what's in here? So in here have a lens cost. That's really cool. You can clean your lens. And then there is the little instructional menu, quick start guide. All the good stuff. And then they also come with a big user menu to teach you everything about this camera. So uh, we will not read it here. I will actually make a follow-up tutorial to teach you how to actually use this camera. Uh, Today is an unboxing video. So now I put this aside and move the camera in the center frame. Let's open it. Da -da -da -da. That is the Roots Plus right here. It's a really nice camera. Uh, I love the design. It's all black and silver. And as you see, have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight lens setup compared to the old woods. It's basically the same size, uh, different design though, uh, but the same button. Two more indicating light right here on the sides, and then front the back is really like close to the old design. And then again, here is the container part allow you to put on SD card. And then uh, we have the Wi-Fi indicating light and then the USB charger right here. So see, great. So now let's set up the Ooze to control via mobile phone. And here I have a Samsung Galaxy 7, it's an Android phone. So go ahead and Go first down the Ooze camera app right here. As you see, I already downloaded the camera app. And then you just go ahead and open it. It will ask you to connect the Ooze camera. Uh, so right here in the Ooze camera, open up uh, this container right here. So see it pop open. One cool feature, if you see it pop open, I'll show you again. Pop open. Uh, one cool feature of the Ooze camera, when you pop the container open, the actually like the SD card will pop out as well for you to easily get it out. This is one really cool UI feature that other camera companies should learn from Ooze. This easy to get the 
SD card out, so I don't need to lie using a tweezer to get an SD card out. But as you see right here, when you turn the camera on, so hit the power button to turn the camera on. When you hit the beat, the camera is on, and then go ahead and hit right here just once. And you see the Wi-Fi blue light right here, indicating light. Here you can also see right here, it's blinking blue, meaning that it's setting up the searching for connection. So go back, go back out to the camera app, hit connect, and then the Android phone will search for the Wi-Fi devices, and then we find the first one, the ooze is right here. So go ahead and pick that. And then the first time you connect to the ooze with Wi-Fi, it will ask you for a password. The password is very simple. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go ahead and done. Done again. And now they connect to the camera from here. As you see, when you see the connection, uh, the Wi-Fi light turns into solid blue. So you can go ahead and push the SD card back in and close the container. And then just put it back like that. So now the camera is connected with the mobile phone. You see a live preview right now and we are in video mode. So uh, let's swap to photo mode. So right here, tap here and tap here. Uh, the camera will turn yellow, like it's processing right now. And you see blinking yellow light right here, meaning they're switching to photo mode. So blue is video and yellow is photo mode. That's how you know what mode you're on from your camera right here. And now see yellow is photo mode. And photo mode is also a preview. So what you're seeing is the front of the camera right here. So this side pointing uh, at my ring light and my camera, but if you swap, and then swap the left side. Left side is my hand right here. See my hand right here? The left side. And then you continue, flip. And that is the back side. Back side is me. You can see my, my shirt right here. And me, my hand right here. That's the back side. And then continue. So on this side, uh, which is the right side, and you see my hand right here. And you see all my dirty dishes all there in my window. So I still need to do my dishes after this video. So if you switch back. As a front of the camera right here again, from the lens. So then you go ahead and take a picture, but before I take a picture, here you can turn off and on the preview right here is the eye icon. Now the preview is off. Now I turn it back on. And then here the gear icon, you can actually address the exposure for each individual lens. So now you see a live preview of all four sides. Here you can link the setting of this camera. So now you adjust the uh, exposure. So this will actually link the same setting to all different size of the lenses. But you can unlink that and adjust it individually. See right here, if you click that, you will actually load up all individual side. So let's say that this side, so one of is unlink. See here, you click here, you unlink all four sizes. So it's a pair of lenses, four different sizes. Let's say that this side is facing the really bright light the stage and I really want this side to be underexposed. So you go ahead and underexpose that. See this lens one underexposed. And let's say that this side, I want to actually this side darker. So I want this side to be a little bit overexposed. So when it's overexposed, uh, let's go overexpose it. By the way, this side, because we before that we slave it. So you want to adjust that into the middle level. So now as you see in, in each lens to so this size, we do underexpose it. You can have an individual adjustment, exposure adjustment on each side of the lenses, depending on the shooting environment. So there's a very cool a professional feature that actually come with the camera. Again, if you don't want to use auto mode, you can actually go into manual mode on here. So now it's everything blow out. Uh, but you can really dial down the, the ISO right here. And then you can also adjust the shutter speed right here. So have a full control of each individual size uh, exposure of your lens. So that is the professional feature that provided by the Ooz camera. So again, I would want to reset everything. Okay, so that is photo mode. And go ahead and take a picture. But another feature I want to mention that is they actually have a timer. So let's say that I want to count down five, four, three, two, one, and slap a 360 stereoscopic picture. So as you see, bring one red in here, indicated the picture is successfully taken. Now I'm loading the light preview again. 
So the picture we already stored right here, if you click this grip layout, we already store in your camera and then you can view the picture. So that is the picture we just took right here. So uh, you can also get an overview of your SD card level. You have 20 pictures and 18 videos. You can do a media management right here. And also pay attention on the panel right here on the right. You can actually get an overview of your camera performance at the battery level, why not it's 80%. The SD card level is 74% used and then all camera is not linked, but they are all in auto mode and it's taking a 3D stereoscopic photos in 4K resolution. So guys, go ahead and hit video and swap to video mode. So the camera turned into blue light, indicated now you're on video mode. So again, you can have a light preview of all four sides what's going on. So this is the right side. And then exact same thing, we have the menu adjustment from our individual adjustment for all four lens with auto and menu exposure. And also we have this timer feature. You can go up to 20 seconds. Let's say that you are a director, you're filming a VR. You want to let everybody know that it starts to film and then you have 20 second countdown and then you can run away and hide somewhere. And that's a really useful feature. But let's just make it five seconds. So go ahead and hit the big red button and then have a countdown. So now it started recording. And how do you know it's not recording? Uh, you can see from right here, the blinking red line, meaning they're recording video right now. You can also see from your phone, have the timer indicating that the camera is recording right now video. So go ahead and close that. So that is the general overview of how to use the Roost camera app to control the Roost camera. Again, this is on an Android app. On an iOS app, right now, uh, actually Roost Plus still don't have their live preview feature yet. So hopefully it will come out pretty soon for iOS user, but they do have an iOS app. You can control the camera with iOS as well. It just don't have the live preview yet. So now we are in our studio. Go ahead and download the Human Eyes VR Studio and then connect your Roost camera to your PC or Mac and then go ahead and turn the camera on. So Roost VR Studio will go ahead and import all the footage. The first step I will actually do is go into preference, preferences and then go into media management and make sure that you set an import location, project location and render location. So to save time and increase the efficiency of your workflow. So now here is a footage. So if I play it, you see that I'm actually in WonderCon in California and I'm cosplaying uh, in this cosplay convent. And as you see the shadow, I'm actually holding the roof right there, handhelding. So as you see, the footage is a little bit wobbling because it's a handheld footage. And then later, I'm actually walking with it. And you see the horizon line is changing right here. So for roof camera, they also have their own stabilization. So right here, if you hit that, See, horizon light directly already straightened it. And then if you play it, you see the footage right now is more stable and more viewable now because the horizon light is, is stable, which is great. And if you see here, you see the left eye and right eye, and then a stereo view. So top and bottom, you see this disparity right here to create a stereo effect. So if you want to check stereo, you can turn this on, but usually I'll just turn the left eyes on. If you change the camera upside down, like hanging down from the ceiling, you can hit this button to flip the footage upside down. It's a com really convenient. And then this one, you can drag around and create a center point. Let's say that I want a center point to be me. So put it right here. And then a center point will be me and start from me there. And then for this one, so why not this is a 360 video footage, but potentially you can turn this into 180 stereoscopic. So just by here, dragging it. Now it's 180 stereoscopic. So you see right here, it's 180. But combined with the center location, so all I care about is what I'm seeing. So put it right there. And go ahead, play it. And now it's VR 180s. So as you know, Google Daydream team pushing like VR 180 this year. So it's actually very important to create VR 180 video to just fit the YouTube standard to publish content on YouTube. So Roos can do that already natively. So you can choose from 180 to 360 content. Next one, we can do bottom and top patch. So basically I can increase the percentage here. As you see right here, now the bottom buried out, that just like the Google jump system to stitch the Google Odyssey. 
GoPro Odyssey camera. And also you can replace it with different image as well. So you can put your logo here and replace it with your logo. You can also do it in the top image as well. And last is you can do fine stitch with this software. So let's find one that uh, we see somebody walking into the stitch line. Okay, right here you see a stitch line, this person got cut off. So you can hit right here and bring up the advanced tool. So on this frame, just go ahead and add a current frame. It will generate a keyframe right here, right in this moment. And see, already the stitch is getting way better now. Now her face actually come back out. You can go in here and do a manual adjustment to really protect these people on this stitch line. But again, the Vue Studios actually use something called template stitching. As far as I know, it's not optical flow stitching. So it's not like Mythica can achieve a perfect result. So if you want to achieve perfect result, definitely watch my next tutorial. I will use Mystica VR and Stitch for Vu to utilize Mystica optical flow feature to achieve a perfect stitch every time with the Vu footage as well. So that's other really great feature uh, why I want to try out Vu speaker. Why now Vu is comparable with Mystica VR so you can really use this as a second camera combined to your other professional for the shot by let's say a e halo the GoPro Odyssey or the Kandao Obsidian SNR. But let's keep going on. Uh, on the event, you also have a blend level. So that is a color blend level. If you hit that, you see that the color blend is even more dramatic. And then color matching, you can buy Jason lens by neighbor lenses, but you can also make the entire scene color match the entire fears. You see the color is changing right there. And then last thing is level. That is a event feature that do color correction right from this editor, which is pretty cool. So let's say this is a little bit overexposed. So let me just drop the exposure down or bring the highlight down. So I can see the sun, but actually uh, too dark. So bring the highlight down and I can bring up the shadow. So you can see more the shadow area and I can change the temperature from like more sunny blue day to more like, and I can also up the saturation to have this really saturated look. Or I can bring the first to black and white. So that is the artistic taste of your videos. And then if you don't like it, you want to reset to hit the reset button, we reset everything. So now go ahead and hit render. So you can render 3D or 2D. So stereoscopic and mono, and you can pick two by one and then usually for Facebook, but for YouTube it's 16 by nine and the resolution you can do 4K and 2K, but you can also open an event feature. And in here, one of the cool feature is for the Vue Studio can actually output really high res ProRes for which not H264. So it's a great feature. And here you can try the two stitching model and then the Vues actually can capture spatial audio on the Vues Plus. So that's why the spatial audio feature is right here. And then go ahead and name it, find location to render, and then go ahead and render. So there you go. This is the unboxing video and a complete start guide for how to use the brand new Vues Plus camera. And actually do a little comparison between the Vue Plus camera and the old Vues. And I realized that the Vue Plus actually have a better image quality in general. I feel like that have a, a better dynamic range for the lens because the lens is better, the sensor is better. And I can also see just from the raw lens data, have a less lens distortion on the edges area, meaning they have a more overlap between lenses. So you can have a better stitch in post. And that also enable production like post stitch with software like Mystica VR to achieve a really perfect stitch. Natively, the Vue Studio doesn't support optical flow as I mentioned already. So if you want to achieve optical flow, have the perfect stitch like what you did for Obsidian or the Google Jump system, and you can actually use the Mystica VR to use optical flow stitch to stitch the Vue Plus footage and I teach you exactly how to do that and also render really high quality directly from Mystica VR. And I'm also going to teach you in the next tutorial the shooting tips to how you can use this camera to create really good footage. As you know that on the internet, a lot of people actually like really hate on the old Vue's camera because they think the camera is really hard to use. Uh, it's not user friendly and the footage is not that great. Well, that is actually not really true. Again, this is a consumer level. I still think it's a consumer level stereoscopic camera and everything stereoscopic and 360 require a little bit base knowledge to how to use this camera correctly. But that's hopefully this tutorial will help you really like understand how to use this camera step by step. 
so you can really use it like this amazing camera and capture some amazing footage and as you see the footage is actually not bad at all and for a stereoscopic footage that is definitely like uh, an upgrade from the GoPro Fusion and especially when you put this footage on the, something like the Gear VR or Ocular Rift or HTC Vine and you can really see the impact of the stereoscopic effect so hopefully you like this video again if you have any more questions about the Roos or what other area you want to learn about the Roos Plus please comment below if you like this video please give me a thumb up and I will see you next in the next tutorial to teach you how to stitch Roos footage with Mystica VR and how to shoot Roos footage and the comparison between the Roos and other professional cameras like Obsidian, Insta360 Pro and other stereoscopic cameras I will see you next time. 